Hi there, you guys. I just thought I would uh, share my warm up with you. So it's a dynamic warm up. Um, I use a, a Dynaband, but you can also use a belt or a jump rope or even a pair of underwear. <laughs> Check out my other video that talks about how you get your how you use your underwear for workout. It's so handy, you know. You can't beat the convenience. <laughs> So um, anyway, I'm so I'm gonna just show you with the with the exercise tube. It's so versatile. I would really highly recommend that you get one if you don't have one. You know, if you need an extra tool for your for your exercise regime. So um, all right, I'm gonna start with just a little bit of a warm up with the shoulder. Nothing too complex. Not working with the upper, lower body just yet. Okay, and I'm not gonna do too much repetition. This isn't really intended for you to follow. It's mostly intended to look, I mean, you can do it while I'm doing it, but I'm not gonna do the repetition that you might want or at the rate of speed. So then I'm just gonna get a little heel dig in here, which helps to stretch out the hamstring, right? Okay, and then I'm going to do a little heel back like this and do a little rotation, bending side to side. So I'm actually getting my obliques and my core activated. Okay, and this helps to stretch out the hip flexor and the quad. Now I'm going to bring it to the front and do the back of my, my backside, my booty, and the outer thigh. Good. And this really helps with mobility too. You can see I'm stretching out. This is like what you do when you play hacky sack, which I haven't done in a while. I kind of miss it, but anyway, a little dangerous sometimes to get carried away. Okay, now I'm just going to draw the knee up. And I'm going to use my core when I do that. So I'm bending over just a little bit, but I want to come up nice and tall in between, right? Coming up nice and tall. Okay. Now I'm going to start to get a little more mobility with the arms and engage the back. So I'm going to push away with the tube. Okay. Right now I'm just going to focus on that. So I'm going to go down behind me and then uh, come front. And then down behind me, I'm going to go up on my toes there and come to the front. And then up on my toes and come to the front. So I'm going to do a little calf raise here. That way I can kind of rest the lower body just a little bit and still work the upper body. We'll rest the um, upper body here in a moment, or you can keep going. Okay, now I'm gonna rest the upper body and I'm gonna do a hip rotation, hip rotation, hip rotation, right? This is really helpful, uh, especially if you play sports that require some lateral movement because the hips get really challenged. Okay, you can either alternate or you can do it on one leg and then focus on some balance, right? So I'm not gonna put my toe down. I'm gonna just focus on balancing. So think about keeping the abs tight. This might help too, because it helps to engage the abs. So this is an option to consider, all right? Doing a little balance with it. Okay, now I'm gonna go high kicks. This is a nice little hamstring stretch, a little bit more so than say the heel dig. It's good to start with the small, range of motion for the hamstring first and then expand. So remember, so you notice my back is straight on this. I'm not leaning forward or back. That's really important. Okay, so, and go where you can on this, right? So you may not have that mobility in the hamstring. So just go low if you need to and start slow. No pressure. Okay, now I'm going to do like a little backwards lunge. So I'm gonna go backward lunge. I'm gonna turn towards the knee that's in the front. Backward lunge towards the knee. So this is a good way to do a lunge without putting any pressure on your knee. You're also working on outer thigh, or excuse me, obliques too. So a lot of balance, oblique, quad, some hamstring, and um, some shoulder work and obliques. Okay, so that's that one. <laughs> and then I like to do a little squat. And then, uh, so this is gonna be a little tricep. My arm goes back and then pull the arm up, and then I'm gonna pull the left arm back behind me. So I'm like creating like a little um, bow and arrow, right? So bow and arrow. And then getting that quad work and the glute work. So squats are really great for that. Just be mindful of your knees. You wanna keep the weight shifted back, keep the toes up a little bit, and keep the weight in the heels. It makes a big difference. And then you're gonna switch to the other side. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and engage a little bit of tricep. You have to be real mindful about how you're working the tricep on that so the palm goes straight back up. And these are things you can add on as you go along. 
and just reference this video when you need some support. Because I'm here for you here, but I can also be here for you there. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, the last one. And I'm going to just kind of shake things out a little bit and get some, get moving. Okay, and then in the, in the meantime, I'm going to add a little punch here. A little punch, right? Creating resistance by holding it here on my hip and then pushing forward. Creating that resistance. Got it? Feels pretty good, yeah? You could go just rock it back and forth if you don't like the whole bouncing. But what this does, this is like weight-bearing exercise. You're the weight. And it helps for bone density. All this stuff is helpful for bone density. Guess what isn't? Sitting on the couch. Very good. And then there's all kinds of dietary things you can do. And I'm not talking milk. <laughs> if milk worked, seems like we'd have that one nipped in the bud by now. And cheese. Anyway, um, seeds are great. Lots of good leafy green vegetables. And I can show you how to make them. Um, pretty good about deep leafy green vegetables. So now I'm just going to pull this back here. Straight back. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. And I can either just stand here or I can incorporate either some balance work or I can go back to my calf raises. So probably even more things. You know, you can run in place and do it. Run in place. You widen your leg and get a little inner thigh. So that's some ideas of what you can do for your warm up. And uh, you know, it works. They really recommend that you not do static um, strength training, like heavy um, strength training. The dynamic work means movement, activity. So you wanna move on the warm up so you get the blood flowing and get the synovial fluids moving through your body. Uh, when you're sedentary, what happens is that it's like you have a river that isn't running. So what happens when a river's not running? It has sludge and, you know, problems, no, it's not fluid. <laughs> you want to be fluid. So just saying, maybe consider that, okay? So just get moving, people, if you're not already doing so. And uh, if you've got that down, come see me and we'll do some kick-ass boot camp. So, <laughs> but I'm, I'm very flexible with where people are and meet them where they are. So, okay, hope to meet you if I haven't already. Bye.